and entertainment. People have replaced the live performance with canned music, often in the mistaken belief that with a good strong bass, synthetically altered tops and plenty of volume, that it's as good as being there. Sadly though, that's a long way from the truth. Even good stereo domestic sound systems can smear. The amplification system's not bad, microphones are improving, digital recorders and playbacks are stuck. But still, the weakest link in the sound system is the speakers. All these speakers, including some at the very leading edge in acoustic technology, may sound great still don't deliver a carbon copy of their sound input. So if you're interested in improving the quality of your listening time, how about a set of these in your lounge room? The Duntec Crown Prince loudspeaker and the top of the range Duntec Sovereign. Their makers claim that these are the most accurate loudspeakers in the world. Objective tests that we've witnessed have indicated a superb performance. And certainly the design characteristics are equivalent to taking a soapbox and turning it into a Porsche 959. Listening to the Sovereign speakers is just a bit like moving from black and white images to colour for the very first time. With the speakers angled so that the point source radiation of sound seemed to intersect somewhere inside my own head, and with volume hitting an incredible 120 dB, with still no noticeable distortion. With these giant monoliths, each capable of handling one kilowatt of power, and for a whole lot of other very good technical reasons, their near-perfect frequency response and wide dynamic range, well, what could I say? Except that at some point there, I know, I literally felt the Earth move. The software 2001 speakers were developed here at Technology Park in Adelaide. They're the edifice of John Dunlavey, a Texan electronics engineer and acoustic specialist who came to sound out his idea on Australia six years ago. But while his products are exporting well, the Australian listening public would still prefer to import. At all frequencies, we have achieved what we call a simulated point source radiator. And that simply means that at all frequencies, all of the sound appears to come from a single point in space. And what that does, of course, is to provide pretty much an ideal imaging uh, perception of depth. Um, if a violin is over on the left side and the bass is over on the right and so on and so forth, but, but there's a spread of instruments. Um, you don't just get this two-dimensional quality of, of everything's over on the right channel or everything over on the left. Everything then is in proper perspective. So and it's, the equi it's equivalent to sitting in a concert theater and looking at an orchestra. It's as close as we can get As today. close as you can get. That dull, thudding sound is as close as you can get to what's known in the trade as a square wave. With three other well-known reference monitors shrouded in acoustically transparent cloth, we hit them with a 20 nanosecond pulse. Speaker 1 returned this sound, a smeared response. Speaker 2 just didn't know how to react. The perfect response would have looked like this. And here's what the Sovereign delivered. John Dunlavey claims that his loudspeakers are not only the most accurate in the world, but that they're so good, it's impossible to tell the difference between live sound and the sound delivered by his speakers. Well, we've decided to put that claim to the test. Pencil and paper Today, we recorded Adelaide entertainer Evan Jones singing his own composition in this acoustically neutral anechoic chamber. Tell her I'm sorry. This is the recording. It's been digitally mastered on Betamax high fidelity videotape. And Evan is also sitting in this room at a midpoint between the Duntec Crown Prince and Sovereign speakers. And the test is to see if our adjudicator can tell the difference between the sound coming out of the speakers from this videotape and Evan's live performance. Our adjudicator is Professor Enrique Gomez, the senior musicologist at Flinders University, who incidentally knows nothing of the arrangements of this experiment. Pencil and 
pencil and paper Do me a favor Say my goodbye Tell her I try Tell her I'm sorry And not to worry Life will go on She'll get along without me. Would it surprise you to learn that none of that was live? Oh, really? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, they should disqualify me. I don't know what that does to your university post, oh, but dear. you were wrong. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> it, it, really, I could uh, judge you, really, yeah, from a musical point of view. Uh, and listen carefully, it's like uh, having the same musician placed slightly different in the position in the room. So there's a spatial difference spatial that difference. you can I perceive. Say, I can perceive, yes, yes. But I cannot uh, make a difference, definitely, of uh, which one is recorded or live, or uh, because it's both are live ones, according to me. Well, that's quite a testimonial, but at $15,000 a pair, the most accurate loudspeakers in the world could be just a bit out of the reach of most of us.